Welcome to a session of Kujo Sound's Game Audio Talk. I'm Bjorn Jacobson. Game Audio Talk is all about sound design in games. Not reviewing or rating the game, but simply trying to decipher what is going on, how it's done, why it's done the way it is, or why is something specifically cool, even though it may be quite simple. Today, we'll be talking about Life is Strange, a nice little multiple choice gem of a game by Don't Not Studios from Paris in France, and it's published by Square Enix. Life is Strange has some really nice sound design features, as well as some very common ambient issues if you specifically look for them. The game is a classic story branching narrative, and does a really good job at setting the mood of the game. The very laid back and quite melancholic music during loading screens and most of the in-game music does a really good job. But the game also contains other kinds of mood setting music, which is not too common in games these days. To all of you American girls, it's sad to imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like. The ambient sounds of almost any environment in the game is set up mostly by 3D placed emitters, but they all seem to have quite high spatulization whenever the listener is close to their sources. This is particularly noticeable when walking around the various classrooms or dorms of the game. High spatulization and long attenuation curves can be really useful in 3D environments. Because if done right, you'll be able to get really close to a sound which will then be in full stereo, 5-1 or whatever setup you may have. You will have a long fade out of the sound because of the attenuation, which in this case helps the various emitters to stay in the soundscape and not unnaturally fade out too quickly, and the high spatulization when you are close to the source removes any excessive panning when moving around. Some sounds obviously have less spatulization than others. This tells us that the sound designers have specifically set these for each item. A quite common issue with this type of setup is that the ambience becomes quite fragile to looping sounds, and this can sometimes be noticed in Life is Strange. Notice here how the voila of the various dorm rooms have some quite noticeable voices, which makes the lube easy to spot. If you've read my recent blog of nuisance scores and how to avoid listening fatigue at asoundeffect.com, you will know that I'm not too big a fan of looping sounds like this. Some ambient sounds are also 2D or at least completely spread out 3D sources in specific scenes, such as room tones or there for moments when characters are not moving. It's also extremely like useful Golf, when you want full example. control of a dialogue Who mix or similar to. situation. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light One and One of the dark. cool features of the game the is the rewind time action, which is the primary action power. of the entire storyline. Whether or not it actually plays the sounds backwards or if it's hard-coded for each specific moment is hard Although to tell. But it does the job things. really well and it does so in Those a trustworthy fashion. In class, Max. Put that away. Judge. Usually, Touché. 
Hey, Max. Hey, Max. There are also moments where both sound, controller, and visuals come together as a mechanic. In this wonderful so-called multi-sensory puzzle of sorts, kind of similar to any lockpicking puzzle in a lot of other games, but in this case it's about aligning values which are only provided to you through sound visuals and physical controller vibration. Notice how the sound and the drone changes as the image gets clearer when I move both control sticks. There's even a voice cue when you're about to solve it. This is great use of all three senses to combine them into one puzzle and mechanic. This mechanic occurs several times throughout the game. When it all comes together, Life is Strange is a great game, and a great sound experience too. The game's graphical style and somewhat tune-shaded appearance at times allow for some quite shifting sound design and ambience to shine. By allowing sounds to go from super realistic to supernatural in a very non-noticeable transition, the game provides a great sounding experience. This was a very quick game audio talk about the sound in Life is Strange and some of the things that I've noticed while playing the game. Thank you for watching this quick overview of Life is Strange here at Kujo Sound. I'm Bjorn Jacobson and if you like this video please hit the like button. You may also subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated about the content that I upload. You can also visit my other sites and social media such as Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. And last but not least, if you like this video and you like the content that I provide, consider signing up and supporting me on Patreon.com where you for as little as $1 per month can help me afford the time I spend on creating these videos and your chance to receive supervision, sparring and mentoring for any project you might have. have you been Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again next time.